So, if virus gets you, you must deal with it sensibly. The most sensible thing is, if you get it, nobody else should get it from you. This commitment you must take for yourself, for the sake of the nation and for the sake of humanity. You must take this, in case you get it, it should not hop to one more person. The virus does not understand your emotions. <laughs> so, <laughs> don't deal with it emotionally. <laughs> First thing, don't get it, but it may happen. Once you're out on the street, it may happen. So please don't deal with it emotionally. No, 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 that's not what I'm saying. So how should I handle my emotion? This is what I was saying all this time. Your emotion, whatever is the sweetest point you hit in your life, the high point, you must keep it there, don't bring it down. Yes. So, if virus gets you, you must deal with it sensibly. The most sensible thing is, if you get it, nobody else should get it from you. This commitment you must take for yourself, for the sake of the nation and for the sake of humanity. You must take this, in case you get it, it should not hop to one more person. Exactly. Must stop here. Either we come out of it alive or we die or we come out whichever way, but it should not go to one more person. This responsibility we must take. So there is no emotional stuff to it. You deal with it, it'll be a little hard to breathe. People say, it's quite terrible because it feels like you're drowning. But then now it is showing other symptoms also, various other kinds. So, we don't know what kind of sweet emotions virus has for you or not. <laughs> we do not know. We do not know if he has any emotions, he's just uh, doing his business. Simply, he's just going about his business of survival. So you yes. go about your business of survival, that's it. Just like the virus, all right? The virus is trying to survive that's upon it. you. You survive upon this planet, don't go away. No emotion needed for this. Just what is needed, you hand yourself over to a doctor, whatever they have to do, they will do. You take instructions and just do that. Namaskaram. Should we be worried about the COVID-19 variant flirt? Here is a detailed overview of all the information you need to know about this particular strain of the virus. Welcome to our channel, where we delve into the latest developments regarding the COVID-19 pandemic. Today, we will be discussing the flirt variant, its implications and what steps you can take to protect yourself and others. The emergence of the new COVID-19 variant known as flirt has caused significant concern due to a surge in cases across several countries, including the US, UK, South Korea and India. This worrying development has sparked fears of increased transmission and potential challenges for public health systems worldwide. It is crucial for authorities and health officials to closely monitor the situation and take necessary measures to contain the spread of the highly contagious variant. The impact of flirt on the global responses to the pandemic remains uncertain, but careful monitoring and prompt action are necessary to mitigate its potential risks. As of now, India has reported a total of 250 COVID-19 cases. Most of these cases are linked to two specific variants known as KP2 and KP1, both derived from the Omicron JN1 variant that circulated worldwide last winter. These new variants can evade immunity provided by vaccines 
and previous infections. Dr. Rajesh Chawla, a senior consultant in pulmonology and critical care at Indraprastha Apollo Hospital in New Delhi, has mentioned that the flirt COVID-19 variants, especially KP2, are believed to be more contagious than previous strains of Omicron. Take a moment to listen to his thoughts on this matter. Flirt, a subset of the Omicron strain, has emerged with distinct genetic changes. It's been noted for its ability to evade immune responses triggered by vaccinations and prior infections. The symptoms associated with flirt are similar to those seen in previous variants, such as fever, cough, and fatigue. But with the added concern of increased contagiousness due to its unique characteristics, strict measures must be taken to prevent flirt spread. According to the US Centers for Disease Control and Prevention (CDC), there is currently no evidence to suggest that the KP2 variant would cause more severe illness compared to other strains. Similar to Omicron and Pirola, this particular variant mainly affects the upper respiratory system. People infected with this strain often experience symptoms like fever, cough, sore throat, nasal congestion, headaches, body aches, breathing difficulties, fatigue, loss of taste or smell, cognitive impairment issues such as stomach upset, mild diarrhea and vomiting. Despite the seriousness of these symptoms, the hospitalization rate for those affected remains normal. Yes, indeed, specifically, the KP2 variant is believed to be more easily spread compared to previous Omicron strains. The increased transmissibility of flirt variants requires strict prevention measures. These flirt variants can spread rapidly through respiratory droplets, putting unvaccinated individuals for those with weakened immune system at risk. It's important to stay updated about COVID-19 vaccines, including the need for booster dose to reduce the risk of severe illness. When in indoor public spaces, especially in areas with high transmission rates, wearing properly fitting a respiratory like a N95 or KN95S is recommended. Improving indoor air circulation and filtration can help reduce the concentration of virus particles. If you have attended a gathering or been in contact with COVID-19 positive person, consider using rapid antigen tests. If positive, isolate yourself immediately to prevent further spread. Alongside good hand hygiene and maintaining social distancing, adhering to these preventive measures is crucial to protect against COVID-19 and its evolving variants. Keeping informed about local transmission rates and following public health guidelines can significantly reduce flirt variant spread and impact. Aging weakens the immune system, making older adults more susceptible to infections than younger people. This increased susceptibility is due to factors such as immune function, decline, underlying health conditions, and living in settings where infections can easily spread. Age-related changes in the respiratory and digestive systems also contribute to older adults' vulnerability to infections. Healthcare providers must take extra precautions when treating older individuals. Elderly individuals face a higher risk of severe illness due to age-related changes in the body. Weakened immune system and underlying health conditions. Studies show that people over 60 years, especially those with heart disease, respiratory issues, diabetes or cancer are more prone to severe complications from COVID-19 than younger individuals. The most at-risk groups include those aged 65 and older, pregnant women and people with compromised immune systems. Although the flirt variant can cause breakthrough infections and evade immune defense, to some extent, 
older vaccines still other significant protections against severe illness hospitalization and death research indicates that while vaccine may not completely prevent infection they greatly reduce viral load leading to milder symptoms and lower transmission rates sadguru's important message to non hindus click here to watch the video now if you find this information helpful and valuable please subscribe like and share this video to spread awareness among your friends family and communities your actions can make a real difference in saving lives and curbing the spread of the covid-19 new variant thanks for watching pranam